After Reality Editor installation, you must map a Reality Network Drive. In your local drive, create a folder named Reality Workspace. Right click on it and select Properties. From the Sharing tab, click on the Advanced Sharing options. Check Share this folder checkbox. Click on the Permission and allow full permission. From the Sharing tab, copy the host name before the shared folder name and paste it into the address bar just to get its network location. Now right click on the folder and select Map Network Drive. Select R from the Drive Letter drop down and click Finish button. Now inside the Reality Workspace folder, create subfolders as shown in this video. For the community addition, only Assets and Project folder is important. All Reality Editor projects must reside in the project folder. These two folders are already mapped in Reality Hub. The shared folder's username and password must be your Windows username and password. After filling these fields, you must click on the Scan button to read and store your project's asset path into the database. Reality Hub just required this operation once for both folders. Now you can see your project listed inside all project options. Reality Hub installed with the default R graph, but you can add any new R graph into the database. If you already selected your project, map, R graph, you can launch your project now. For the first time, it may take a while for storing cache for this project, which helps you to load it faster at next attempt. How to set up R graph is already defined in the previous video. You can check the link mentioned in the description. There is another way to establish communication between Reality Hub and Reality Editor. Just open your project and load a level. When you hit play, you can easily move around your scene with your mouse and keyboard shortcuts. At the same time, from the Reality Hub, you would be able to trigger your events and control your exposed properties. 